Hi, in today's video, I hope to answer a very commonly asked question, how to attach commercial weft to a doll's head. Now, perhaps you've tried this before and weren't too pleased with the results. The way I do it has evolved most certainly over the years. Frustration at certain outcomes, feedback from my loyal customers and my own predilections in doll making. First, you want two things, for the weft to lie as naturally as possible, Second, for the least visible mess, including seeing the scalp of the doll. I really hate that. You, of course, also want the wefts to be secure enough that you can wash the hair, style it, etc. without fear of the whole thing coming undone. Now, my method is a bit time consuming, I will confess, but I do love the results. First, you're going to crochet a cap, like a little hat or a beanie, that will fit your doll's head as snugly as possible. I normally do this using doll making mohair yarn that matches the color of the weft. This can be a bit tricky to match. For instructions on how to crochet a cap, please visit the video on making the doll hair on the Hansel and Gretel doll making series here on this channel. Now, once you have the cap nice and fluffy, you will sew it to the doll's head. Tip. Try to leave a nice forehead so your doll doesn't look too old. Adults have hairlines closer to the eyebrows, while children and babies have wider foreheads with the hairline further back. A trick I like to use to avoid seeing the hair cap is to sew a bit of weft underneath the cap. That way, if you pull the hair back as in a ponytail, you do get hair coming from under the cap. I think this adds a very nice touch to your doll's hair. Now that you've sewn a nice bit of weft under the cap, sew the cap on top all along the hairline. Then you will start sewing the weft to the cap. I like to start at the back of the head and work in rows going upwards towards the temple. Then I pull the mohair fiber over the previous row, sort it all out and attach a second strip of weft to cover the length of the cap at this point, over and over until I reach the temples of the doll's head. Then I work in a spiral. This gives the dolls a lot of hair and makes it lie nice and even. To finish the weft at the crown, this is what I do. I make the tiniest circle I possibly can, then finish with a straight little bit and sew it with ladder stitch to hide as much as possible.
Voila, you have a doll with a head full of hair. I will be making an updated video on how I sew wefts with natural fibers, but in the meantime, you can watch the video I have here on the channel. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy this video. I hope it also clears up any doubts on how to attach that beautiful weft you bought for your doll's hair.